I am so excited to share with you the entrepreneur's mindset. This is something I have been developing for the last several years, figuring out the best mindset that it takes to actually engineer your own success. This is something I've in the past only taught my private clients, but I actually wanna share this with you today right here on the YouTube channel. I'm so excited. Again, my name is Alric Heck. I'm a YouTube ads and video marketing expert, but I've also grown my own company, Ad Outreach, to over eight figures. We have about 45 people on our team. We're constantly growing and we've helped our clients generate over nine figures in revenue. And at the heart of it is having the right mindset. I genuinely believe having this entrepreneur's mindset has been the key to the growth I've had so far and will be the key to the growth I'm planning to have in the future. So this is actually a presentation that I share with my clients who came out here to downtown Austin, Texas, where I shared in front of our six, seven, eight, and even nine figure clients that we had in the room, the key to the entrepreneur's mindset. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna share the clip with you right now. But I wanna give you some of what I've learned right now about the entrepreneur's mindset. Now in the past, you've heard me call this the marketer's mindset, but I've done some thinking and reflection, or reflecting on this. And I really believe this is the mindset that all entrepreneurs need. It's not just a marketer's mindset. And this is cultivating the right mindset and DNA that you wanna have. So there's a few key factors that go into this consistency, right? Those results that you want, they come from taking consistent action. One of the, the things that I hear oftentimes is I turned on ads, I scaled them up, it's, it's going great, but you know, they kind of hit a cap. Well, what, what do I do? Well, you should launch new ads, but continue to run those existing ones. You don't want to replace it. You want to say, okay, these aren't working as well. You scale them up until you hit a breaking point. Then you get that point. You continue to run those. You continue to consistently see results. And then you want to test something new that can either replace it if it's more scalable or be another pillar in your business. When you take that consistent action and you consistently run those campaigns to perform, the results will follow. Following the process, this is really key. So actually making sure that you are taking advantage, you're actually following what you're being told to do and what you're being advised to do. Uh, in one of the back tables over there, we have some of our, our, our incredible ad strategists, uh, our different coaches, our copy coaches, our funnel coaches. And this is one of the keys, it's really interesting, is one of the biggest factors that we've seen that causes people to not see the success they wanna have is one of these two things, either consistency, they don't show up, right? And if you're not showing up and you're not actually taking action, you're not consistently taking action, then you're gonna fall behind, but also not following the process, seeing another shiny object and Frankensteining two different processes together. So consistency, following the process, taking patient action, actually making sure that you give the campaign some time to succeed. The always win mindset, which is the key to the entrepreneur's mindset, by the way, that's the actual mindset element that we're gonna get into in a second. And then also having mental clarity and focus. So taking the time, whatever you need to do in the morning, whether it's a meditation, whether, whether it's reading a book, whether it's uh, doing some journaling or reading a, uh, you, you know, a morning, a morning vision board or looking at a morning vision board or all of the above, whatever it happens to be, getting that focus and then also the mental clarity and then the focus to know what your goals are and what you're looking to achieve that day, right? What am I actually looking to achieve? Now, the best part about the marketers and entrepreneurs mindset is your tests either succeed or you gain the knowledge that you need to succeed. This is key. And when you're always testing, you're constantly testing new things, you're finding what works, what doesn't work, you're scaling up what works, you always win. Now I wanna use an example here, right, of a collection of boxes, right? So you have your platform, maybe think of this platform up here as your business. You got a platform and you got a few boxes on the side, you got a few boxes here. Now they're unmarked, but they're different sizes, kind of looking at them, you don't know what's inside. And inside each of these boxes here, you start to open them up. You open up these boxes and inside every box is either a balloon of varying sizes or an anvil. And so what do balloons do? Balloons are going to allow you to grow your business, right? They attach to your platform, they lift you up. These are the successes, these are the campaigns that have that five, six X ROAS, the campaigns that are performing great, but it's not just marketing. That's why we call this entrepreneurship mindset or the entrepreneur's mindset. Those could also be new, uh, new landing pages. These could be new team members, right? As a team member, a balloon or an anvil. But then you also have some of your other 
some of your other tests. Every single one of these, every single box is a new test in your business, right? This is something that you test, something that you try. You don't know exactly what you're going to get yet. And you start opening these boxes and it's either a balloon or an anvil. And so what do balloons do? They lift up your platform. They lift up your business. But what do the anvils do? They pull your business down. Now, what's the key here? What do you need to do? What you need to do is you need to take out your scissors and get ready to cut the anvils. I have seen so many times in businesses, and I'll give you an example here in just a second, which you're gonna find pretty funny, but I have seen so many businesses that know they have an anvil and they don't cut it. What would be a good example of an anvil? Might be relying too heavily on Facebook ads. And a balloon might be YouTube ads, right? <laughs> you can see where I'm going there. But regardless of whether or not those anvils are Facebook ads and the balloons are YouTube ads, and obviously there's a lot of different things in your business too, because you might have some YouTube ad campaigns that's the biggest balloon possible, 10X ROAS scaling you up, but you also might have some campaigns that don't perform as well, and you also need to cut those off too. So it's not just an individual thing, right? It's what within, you know, what are the different tests that you do that work great and then within those, what are the things that are lifting you up and what's pulling you down? So what you wanna do is you wanna to start to cut that dead weight, cut those anvils, right? Cut that anvil and it'll fall to the earth, kinda of like Facebook's stock. No, I'm just kidding, that's, that's a joke. <laughs> and it'll fall down, it'll fall down. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's not here, so I don't wanna, you know, get too much. <laughs> I don't wanna talk behind his back, but. Anyways, you're cutting off those anvils, that dead weight is gonna fall down, and you're opening up those boxes with balloons, and what you start to realize is, wait a second, I can now, when I take a look at my boxes, I can now tell a little more clearly, it's not perfect, what's an anvil and what's a balloon. Because what do you do? The boxes, they don't have anything written on them. The, the, there's not really any description, they're different sizes, but some of them could be big anvils, some of them could be big balloons, right? You start open up, before you open up the boxes, once you open up, you're committed, you shake the box a little bit. You say, wait a second, I can lift this up very easily. This, this kind of feels like a balloon to me. And you open up those boxes. And what you do is you start to get really good at determining what's a balloon. Now, it might not be perfect. Maybe there's some boxes there that are kind of further back. You can't pick them up first. You need to open them sight unseen. And I, don't be afraid to do that but you start to get better and better at picking boxes that are winners, boxes that are balloons, and you also start to get better and better at cutting dead weight whenever it arrives. So then what starts happening is you keep opening up these incredible balloons, these incredible boxes that are lifting your business up. You're cutting the dead weight as soon as you see it. You're not afraid to open boxes anymore, and this is how you scale and grow your business, and this is the rocket ship that can take your business to the goals and dreams that you have. But what would happen if you were afraid to open a box? This wouldn't happen. What would happen if you never cut that dead weight, right? What would happen if you never learned from what worked and what didn't work and you never figured out these are the boxes that I need to open to find more balloons, right? When you start to realize and you start to test, this is the entrepreneurship mindset, when you, when you start to test and see what works and what doesn't work and you learn, not from just from your success and failures, but also your successes, right? Some people don't learn from their failures and they only look at their successes. And honestly, a win that you don't learn from is worse than a failure you learned from. Think about that for a second there. So this right here, is the key. You need to learn from both your wins and your failures. And I don't like to call them failures. I like to call them learning lessons, learning lessons. And as you can see, that's what's going to allow you to grow and scale those balloons that are lifting you up, eliminating the anvils. And that is our new entrepreneur's mindset, which I'm very excited about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the entrepreneur's mindset valuable. This is something I believe in so deeply and I know has been the key to the success I've had so far and will be the key to the success I have coming in the future. And the same thing with our clients. I have had clients literally every single week reaching out to me and my team talking about how valuable this entrepreneur's mindset has been to their own growth. It's not just strategies and tactics, 
It's the mindset and the mind that employs them, right? You can have a great tool, but without the right mind to use it, then you're not gonna be able to leverage it with its full potential. And that's why with our clients, we teach YouTube ads and the right entrepreneurship mindset that combine together to get the best results. So I hope you found this valuable. If you want more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel, make sure you like the video, share it with somebody else who needs to hear about the entrepreneur's mindset as well. And if you are interested in YouTube ads, we'll have all those links down below, but this video was all about the entrepreneur's mindset. So excited for you to see this. Comment below uh, with how you're implementing this and if this impacted you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.